Hey, welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Road. My name is David, and tonight you get to see a tour of the new Speakeasy. It's been a while putting this together. It's actually still not done, but frankly, it's been so long since we've moved in, and it's embarrassing that I don't have it completely unpacked. So we're going to go ahead and show you what it looks like behind the scenes here in our new space, see what the bottle collection looks like. Let's get to it. If you end up enjoying this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. The best way to support us is that. Just simply like our video, subscribe to the channel. All right, this is the background that you see in almost every video that I put out these days. This is the whiskey wall behind the proverbial table we use, and we have our stools. Uh, and basically this is what I would call our nicest whiskeys. There's not really a particular order. I tried to group stuff and obviously put the nicer stuff toward the top so you could see it over our heads when we're sitting down and filming. Uh, we've got old Sam Houston's over there. We've got a uh, Heaven Hill section along the top. Then we've got some special Buffalo Traces and Heaven Hills and Jim Beams and then 13th Colony. Going down into our Michter's stuff and then some more Buffalo Trace right in the middle with our Stags and E.H. Taylor's. Then we have some Preservation Distillery stuff and some Four Gates and American Light Whiskeys, which are some of my favorites these days. Working our way down, we've got two Four Roses limited editions and some of the uh, single barrel picks from Four Roses and Maker Cellar Age. And then there's our section of our own barrel picks with the Ride 3 and the Nashville Barrel Company. Working across, we've got more Buffalo Trace in the middle. We've got some Blantons. There we got Blantons Gold, Blantons Straight from the Barrel. We got regular Blantons. We got that teeny little novelty Blantons. And we got some John J. Bowman's. Then we get into the Woodford Reserve. I'd call that our Brown Foreman section, really. It's Woodford Reserve and then our old foresters, and then working our way down, we got Jack Daniels, some special Penelope's, then back to Buffalo Trace with the Wellers, moving across to the Wild Turkeys and Russell's stuff to uh, Murray Hill Club and Joseph Magnus. Then along the bottom, which you never see, we've got our OCDs, premiums and OCD, some more special Nashville barrel stuff, and uh, what else? Uh, we've got... Uh, uh, Buffalo Trace stuff, then to the special Jim Beams, a little Kentucky L. We still have a ton of bottles over here on the floor that haven't gotten put away from when we moved in. Just some basic stuff here. JW Dance, some Reservoir stuff, some Iron Root, 13th Colony, Hand. Um, geez, all kinds of stuff. Some Stellum, like I said, Iron Roots. I see some Texas whiskey down there. Uh, then we come up this shelf. Uh, this is off to the left. So here's the, the main filming shelf, right? So off to the left, where Jamie normally sits, we've got our Bardstown, which is just packed full of Bardstown bourbon company goodness. Our standard Michter's bottles, some Rabbit Hole, Wilderness Trail, and uh, Heaven's Door. Then we've got our Jim Beam shelf with some Knob Creeks, Booker's, Little Books. And then up here, we've got New Riffs. Uh, Redwood Empire and High West stuff. Now there is obviously along the back behind these 13 colonies, we've got some Boo Rise, Yippie Kaye and Midwinter Night's Dram. But the other High Wests are over here, working our way over here just a little bit. We used to be in this kind of shoe closet and now um, we're not in a shoe closet. This is our stand that has our camera mounted to it, our normal camera. I'm filming on my phone so you can Get around but that's got our normal camera our screen for when we do live streams our microphone it's a, th a tertiary light it's where i put my laptop when we're doing live streams on that uh, table and it's all pre-wired and all the wiring goes up to the ceiling so i don't have any wiring on the ground this time which is super helpful there's the bathroom i go to when i need to uh, when we're doing live streams when i disappear off screen that's where i'm going then uh, we've got these lights that are mounted to the ceiling, which is super helpful there. And then on this side, um, for those of you that are into uh, lighting for videos and whatnot, that's how that's all set up. Um, then behind the light, I've got some a rare character, old Kirk Jepson's old Dominic. That old Dominic bottle is phenomenal. Coming down here, we've got our standard old Foresters and then a shelf of Heaven Hill makers uh different different makers wood finishing series and then the standard makers products coming over here we start into the wild turkey shelf and then coming up we've got some barrel craft spirit stuff and then we've got mgp with the remises 
And then we've got our Sagamores coming up. We have our Evernorth, some Willet, some Smoke Wagon, and then tons of Penelope. And so we've got, obviously, as you can tell, we've got a bunch of open shelf space still. Uh, across here, down there, across this top shelf up here, and even over down there, we've got tons of stuff. Coming over to this side, so there's the backdrop. Coming over to this side, we've got our Scotch, Irish, and Japanese mostly, and then some stuff. So here is my Scotch, Scotch shelf. So this is our peated stuff. Off to this side, we get more into the just traditional uh, Scotches over here. Then we've got small sample bottles of, uh, whether they be 375s or little sample bottles. This is our Jack Daniels single barrel, barrel proof rye pick, uh, which is gonna hopefully come out someday. We have the Westward Milestone. This is more, these two shelves here, that and all of this is basically stuff that I filmed with recently and that and haven't really put away and then that. So got a whole bunch of stuff. This, these shelves are mostly empty. Uh, at least these bottom three, actually these really these bottom four are very, very not optimized. And then over to this shelf, again, a ton of open shelf space. I got to get the bottles put away. We're about to go to the boxes because I got lots of boxes left. Here we got our Irishes. Uh, there's Australian, there's a star word. Then we got some Japanese over there, but those are the Irishes. And then up top are even more Irishes, which if you're an Irish whiskey fan, I'm sorry, you can't see this better. Got some good stuff. We got a Middleton in here, red breast cast strength, some Teeling store picks, uh, some pretty good stuff. This spot whiskey's over there, pretty solid. And uh, yeah, there's when we do giveaways, there's our ticket jar. And now that we're actually not being blinded by the actual studio lights, uh, this is the little stand I use to hold the uh, the monitor and our camera. Um, I run Sony cameras for the most part, for those of you that are into different cameras and that kind of crap. Uh, I'm using the Sony A6400s. Um, and then I've got a ZT10 or whatever that one is as well for when I travel. And overall, I really like the setup. I really love the space compared to our old space. We have so much more room. I don't have to use a fisheye lens anymore. We've got our standard table. There's my Bucky's mug with some Fresca in it. Now, stepping away into the overflow space, we have a ton of whiskey down here. <laughs> We've got some E.H. Taylors and Yellowstone Limiteds and uh, Rebecca Creek Double Oaks and all kinds of stuff. Uh, a little bit, a couple bottles left of the Wheel Horse Pick that we, we still hold on to. I quit promoing those. A little bit of equipment in there. Um, some random bottles. This is all the old samples. I don't think you can see this. Let me get the flashlight on in there. Look at all these old sample bottles that I have from the old speakeasy. I got to get these out and get them sorted and figured out here shortly. Uh, moving on over to this side, we've got more random bottles and some of these, I mean, that's a Jack Daniels Sinatra, that orange one right there. That's a Sinatra select. So we got some good whiskey over here. Just got to get it put away. Someday I'll get there. Ton of 1792s in there. You can tell by the tops. Uh, random stuff over there. Some old Elks and 1792s all through that box. This box. Coming over here. We've got more in boxes. Um, we got juke joints in here. Um, uh, what are those? Uh, Green Rivers. I'm just trying to tell by the top of the boxes. Old Elk, that's a Nulu down there. Uh, some Starlights, some stuff, whatever. More whiskey, Jefferson's and uh, Old Elk and what else? Some more Jefferson's and some Peerless. Uh, uh, Baker's Sevens. Holiday, Doc, uh, Holiday Craft Spirits are really good. Um, there's more and more and more whiskey in the boxes. So one of these days, I'm going to get them all put away. Um, the, this is left over. I don't have cables on the floor anymore. But uh, what happened was, is when I actually ran the uh, electricity into this room, because this is an unfinished basement. And so when I ran the electricity into this room, I, I ran it along the ceiling for all of you do-it-yourselfers. There you can see the actual cable going back there, that black cable. So that runs through the back. And when I ran that, this had, was a temporary thing I did, and it's just the, 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 the wire is actually trapped under the boxes, so I got to move the boxes to get the wire put away. So, yeah, I'm just that kind of person. I don't have it put away. But right now, the whole card is wired down here through this, which goes up to the ceiling, which then goes across to some different plugs that I had set up 
my lighting setup. Anyway, so it's not fancy. It's not special, but it's my space and I'm very happy about it. And uh, we just, I got to get get a little more time to get things put away because I I'm all, feel like I'm always behind. But I'm thankful for all of your patience, for all of your support. If you ended up enjoying this behind the scenes video of the new Speakeasy, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And until next time, find a body you love. <laughs>